Hello guys, this is the third part in the React series. So today we are going to discuss and dissecting the components and why are they important in the React.js app. So first create a brand new another project for restructure. So create React app and I'll give the name of this full project folder second app. Just enter and it will install and take some time it is installing react react dom and react script that are necessary for our development of react js app so let's get started And guys, if you are facing any problems during the installation process, then please comment me in the comment section below and I'll help you out. So guys, we have finished the installation process. So here is our second app and so here list click here in src folder i have previously discussed that components are built here and every functionality of a react app is provided here so first we will look the app.js it is a main components and provided default by a react great react app so today we are going to make our brand new components so first let's dissect this app.js here there is an import statement and react and then the, there is a destructuring of a component from a react applications so first they are importing the react and component from the react package that we have installed during create react app then there is also a logo where we have import from this logo.svg here and there is a css also that we have styling here in our components so from here app.css and guys this is provided by create react app so this class is a keyword for a making a class and which extend the components that we have installed from react and which extend and it makes this app a component so it will just close here by a curly braces from here and we are exporting this app to another package so here let's again describe this render so here there is a render and in every component there must be a render for making a view of a component in a browser so there is a return statement because we are exporting somewhere so we have to return the view or a components folder structure and there is a div so there is also class name and it looks like a html but it is not html it is a jsx syntax developed by a facebook for a special for a react so here is a class name so in css we use class to style the component but here we use class name because there is always already a resolve key or for a class here we are making a component by using the keyword class so while styling we don't use class but we are using a class name and there is a headers all are all tag of html are similar similar to the jsx tag let's make our brand new component here down below so i'll not make a separate file later on i'll make a separate file to make a brown new component we use class welcome and we have to extend from component to make it component so give a curly braces and i have already told you there must be a render in a component so that browser can make a view of that component and again give a curly braces there should be the return statement so that it can pass the component uh, jsx into another component so 
right here and give a semicolon then in return I'll write this P and hello world so this P now hello world I'm giving this so where to inject let's inject here instead of this to get started I'll inject it here and how to embed a component to another component so we can embed a component to another component by just giving angle brackets and component name then close the welcome component like this like HTML tag so it is now ready here we have a component name welcome and we are passing here so we are extended in a component and let's run these applications and let's see hello world will seen in our screen or not so to start just type npm start in a terminal so if you are not seeing any terminal sorry first we have to locate into that project second app that we have built and it is giving error here so I am just going in that folder now I am in that folder and just type npm start so if you are not seeing any terminal in a visual studio code then just click here my cursor is sorry my cursor is here just click here you will see here a terminal now so uh, another shortcut command is control plus back tick you can get easily the terminal so now if we control and save here here it will automatically compile and successfully when we open our browser there is you see hello world this is a component and this is another component so component helps to build in a modular structure of our application and it will make our single page applications like a multi page using component with a router so later on we'll discuss about the routers props also in next video and i'll discuss again about the more about components so here in jsx we make our variables in a in property make a property of a html tag like in src this is this logo is a variables and we just define these variables from here so we can make use using a curly braces i mean to say that we can use a variable using curly braces like i'll define here one variable so const 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 is a keyword to make a variable constant it is a new feature of javascript er6 so I, I highly recommend you to read er6 because react.js is heavily based on a er6 then i just give variable name welcome and i'll just write here welcome like this and control x then i'll paste it here by giving the string and here then how we can get this welcome component well sorry welcome variables so here between h1 class name app title just give curly braces and write welcome so now if you save it then it will automatically compile again and if you go to browser and it took it look like same uh, but we have done some little tweaking over here and I, I i like to say that here there is a welcome and there is another way of writing in a shorthand also like this welcome and just backslash sorry slash, slash and it will not be here and just hit control and save it will also work like a charm so go to here again and how can we get this welcome over in this component so 
let's see how we can get here instead of hard coded hello world i'll just give here that variable name welcome so this this is a variable name that we have defined and in jsx to give the evaluation of these variables now we are returning here in welcome so we'll get welcome to react in a two places one is here and one returning from here in these components so we have embedded this component when you control save and go to the your browsers and you will see two welcome react so in this video you have make a to your own component and importing to another component so in the next video we'll talk about the props parent child component that are pretty much used in a react applications then we'll also see component state and life cycle of a component in next video thank you